three and a half minutes. Oh. I just don't want to look. Can we not? Well, no, we've got to. And out of nowhere, I wasn't even feeling that bad. I was just like, God, oh, I've got to get to the bathroom. My nails are growing really fast. That's a real pregnancy perk. It has a nose. I think we're having a baby. I think we're having one. Otto. Look in the camera. Oh, you're four months old now, and yesterday you went to get your first haircut. <laughs> oh, you are adorable. Now we find out if you might have a brother or sister or not. You don't look very impressed about that. <laughs> Just chicken for me. Oh, uh, one, three and a half minutes. Oh. I just don't want to look. Can we not? Well, no, we've got to. We've literally, but she's sat here to do it. We've got to. Do we need to do it? One to two weeks. <laughs> it is the 18th of May 2023 and I am nearly six weeks pregnant. We have known for about two and a half weeks. I found out at three and a half weeks. I've been really umming and ahhing as to when to make this video and even whether to make it at all. Am I just getting my hopes up because of our previous losses? So I had a miscarriage at eight weeks pregnant and then I had a bit of a chemical pregnancy. And a month after the chemical pregnancy, we conceived this little one. And to be honest, it's very similar in many ways to the first pregnancy. The chemical was very different. I got a very faint line, the line didn't get any stronger, I didn't feel symptoms very strongly with this one. I didn't have to even take the test, I knew my boobs were already hurting. I just felt pregnant straight away. I'll be honest, it made me think about how many times I may get pregnant, but I am so hopeful that this is the one. With the first pregnancy, I remember just thinking, any time that I get pregnant again, I see that positive on a test, I am gonna be hopeful because it is absolute magic to get pregnant and it's just such a happy, happy time in life and if this hopefully is gonna be our little one, I want it to be a really happy time. So I'm being positive with this, this is the one. We have changed things slightly this time round. I'm on baby aspirin and I'm also on progesterone. So that may have changed things slightly as far as my updates, but hopefully, this is a little first trimester update. I really like watching these for the content creators that I watch because it's a little bit of like behind the scenes of what has happened, it's like the little hidden secret that has been going on for the past few months. And saying that, we are debating how long we wait with this one. Um, our consultant said leave it to the five month mark and oh, that just seems like such a long time to not put it online and that is one of the top things that I am struggling with. So symptoms wise, I am so tired all of the time, having to take a nap every day. As I mentioned, my boobs, they're always the first thing that goes and they throb and they actually burn, but like they feel, they physically feel hotter than the rest of my body. The worst thing that I've had is the backache, because that's obviously a bit of a worry of miscarriage as well. And then I'm sure I've had others that are hungry, so hungry, desperate for food all of the time, could eat 24 seven. And I'm trying to eat healthy, but I just want all the rubbish. So I've been taking progesterone pessaries and basically what they do is up all of your symptoms, which is wonderful. And nausea is something that I didn't have the first time around and I didn't think that I would potentially get it through pregnancy because it's often genetic. So what your mum might have had, my mum has had me, a girl, and my brother, a boy, and had very little symptoms with either of us, but I've been feeling a bit nauseous and just uh, kind of like when you drink too much pop and you just feel a bit like gassy, but it's not gassy, you just feel like, oh, something's sitting there. Generally though, pretty fine. I've been getting on with life normally. However, everything's changed. I'm really, really, really pulling back with this one. I am doing no DIY. I'm not lifting 
anything. Um, I'm really taking care of myself. Not that that really makes a difference, but I think it'll just make me feel better. Whenever you have a miscarriage, I feel like you look back and you think, what could I have done differently? Did I do anything wrong? And actually, thankfully with mine, because I knew about the pregnancy really early on and we were trying, um, I had done everything in my mind to tea, so drunk no alcohol, drunk no caffeine, had really healthy meals, taken my prenatal, all of those things I had done, but the only thing that I hadn't done was stress. Stress, um, keeping up with the pace of my normal life, that's the one thing that I'm trying to decrease a little bit this time. And so I'm really feeling like my videos are gonna suffer and that is worrying me the most, but it's obviously just like not the most important thing. I just wish that I could tell you guys, I really wish that I could be open and that has been one of my thoughts is kind of just saying I'm pregnant and <laughs> opening it up. But then I feel sad that I would miss out on the kind of like fun announcement and everybody to be able to feel that relief of me being further along and it being a viable pregnancy. So I've been toying with that so much. This time is so different in the forward thinking as well. Like when do we tell people this time round? The first time I um, arranged for my mum and dad to come over and we told them in a really cute way and I filmed it and it's actually just still a really precious memory to me like I can watch that video and just feel so much happiness especially because although we never had that baby I still feel like that was the moment that they like kind of felt like they were going to be grandparents and just feeling that joy which I know we will have one day was so wonderful but I literally just called, called FaceTime my mum and my dad was there in the background and I was just like I'm pregnant. <laughs> I've just got a positive pregnancy test. Um, yeah, and it was much more of a just like, still, like, we're so, so happy for you, but there's always this twinge of, we just hope it's gonna go well. All and I found out together, I'm not even sure if I'm gonna put in that footage. I was never planning on putting up any of our um, footage when we found out before, just because, I don't know, I just feel like some of these things I wanna keep private, but when I had the miscarriage, I wanted to be as open as possible about the miscarriage and I felt like they really added to it. And to be honest, made it like a little bit real with something that felt so unreal. And that is one thing with this pregnancy. It feels so unreal. Even seeing the pregnancy test, especially the month after getting a positive pregnancy test, I didn't believe it. Like it didn't sink in for such, such a long time. And it, honestly, it hasn't now. I don't know whether it will. We are going for an early scan because um, I'm on the progesterone. Our consultant wanted us to just double check that it's not an ectopic pregnancy, which I'm nearly 100% sure it's not because I've got on of the symptoms. So I'm booked in, I think I'll be like six weeks, two days. Absolutely terrified because I think at that point we should be well, well we'll know if it's in the right place and we'll know um it's kind of like growth by then so if it's measuring at the right size and there's potential of a heartbeat or well, there should be a heartbeat at that point <sighs> i really 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 hope so i really hope so <sighs> it is another week i'm just exporting my video for this week and i am <laughs> it's so funny i'm sure maybe some people can tell because it's me and I'm watching me, I can tell that I'm pregnant, I can tell that I'm tired, I can tell that I'm struggling to breathe. Um, obviously I am cussing that out a lot in videos, so I'm conscious of it because I'm seeing it in the edit. And also, my skin, my skin has got terrible. The worst it's been in absolute years. Um, that's really my symptoms for this week. So I'm now seven weeks tomorrow so tired oh so sorry especially in the afternoons evenings i'm going to bed at about eight o'clock um but i do find this time a little bit difficult i had this with my first pregnancy i don't end up feeling that sick i've had a little bit of nausea but it's much more for me like not an all day thing it's i'll smell something and i'll just think oh and actually probably one of the worst things which even just thinking about it is the tablets that I have to take. I'm taking um, a pregnancy vitamin that <laughs> kind of stinks. And just before I have to take it, when I think about taking it, I'm just like, oh no, that just doesn't appeal. And probably like food a little bit. My um, smell is really heightened. 
and food. I'm still enjoying my food, but I'm a little bit more like fussy about what I want to eat, although I wouldn't say I'm craving anything or like particularly having any aversions. I'm just kind of like a bit more meh towards it now. Whereas last week, any food was good and food tasted amazing. Oh no, not again, are you serious? I don't know what it is. About the yawning. Obviously, maybe I'm just tired, but I also just have this thing for yawning. Gas is another one. Quite gassy right now. And with that, I've had a bit of t pains in my tummy, which has worried me. My anxiety has definitely heightened a little bit more this week as well, because um, this was the week, week seven will be the week where we had our initial scan. Oh, and I didn't say. <laughs> the last clip, I would have left saying, we will have a scan <laughs> in the sixth week. I chickened out. I chickened out. Um, yeah, I just, I was very worried that it would just be too early. I know there is meant to be a heartbeat at about five and a half weeks, but I worry that with like dates of conception, they can like be a little bit out. And my worry was that we'd go to that appointment and it might all be well and good, but I'd leave not knowing. So yes, it's not an ectopic. Yes, it's in the right place, but is it viable? I have no idea. So, poor Ollie has been such a sweetheart because he booked it, he um, called to move it. So we're now having it week eight, which I just feel a bit more comfortable about because I feel like at least with week eight, if something's wrong, we'll, they'll like know pretty much straight away. Whereas at week six, it's a little bit like, it's so very early. So yes, I chickened out. So you can see my anxiety has been a bit all over. Anyway, I feel like I'm blabbling. I thought I'd check in now because I was going to film this later. So we're a week on now. I am eight weeks tomorrow. My gosh, things changed this week. Honestly, it's been quite nice because I just can't believe now that we won't go to a scan and see a baby because the symptoms have been endless. I'm still yawning all the time. Super tired. In many ways, I can like look and seem like I'm normal. Maybe. I'm not sure. I feel like I can tell so much in my videos. But I can get up and get dressed and get ready. But then as soon as I've done that, I am exhausted. Absolutely exhausted. It is now. It's 10 to 11 and I have been sat here trying to edit a video. And also I was going to film a video. And partly blaming on the fact that the sun's not out. It's the garden makeover video that I'm doing this week. But I just have no oomph to do it. You can kind of hear it in my voice. I am tired and I am really nauseous. I don't even think this camera is straight. Is it? Sorry. Is it all over the place? I am all over the place at the moment. Um, yeah, the nausea hit this week and the kind of like, don't want to call them crazy pregnancy um, symptoms, but I do feel like I've been a bit crazy this week. The nausea for me is weird. It's not terrible and it's not sickness, but at the same time, I cried twice and retched 10 times trying to do our online food order yesterday. I just couldn't do it. I couldn't think of any food that I wanted. The only thing I want right now is Sprite. Oh, Sprite just seems amazing to me. I don't even like pop. Don't even really like Sprite. No idea where that's come from. And then very random things. So I can't remember what day it was now, probably Tuesday, so it was only like seven weeks, a few days, and I was thinking about like how sour sweets would be really good. I've been craving sweets a little bit, and then I was thinking about like sour things, and I thought about sweet and sour, chicken, Chinese, and then that was it. I couldn't stop thinking about it. This was like 3 p.m. in the afternoon. I could not think of anything else the whole time. It's the only thing I could think about, and it got so bad that I was like looking at all the restaurants online because we actually don't get Chinese takeaway. It's not something that I often fancy, so again, this was really out of the blue. Anyway, I think it was Monday because a lot of the restaurants were closed um, because they were obviously over the weekend, so I literally was crying. <laughs> For about an hour, I was crying because all the good restaurants um, were closed, all well, the ones with really good reviews, and I was thinking, oh no, I want to go for one with a good review because I didn't really feel like I should be having like bad takeaways in pregnancy. Um, yeah, literally Ollie got home and I was in the garden <laughs> with Otto, um, crying, and he couldn't see my face. He came back and he was like, oh hey, how are you? And I just turned around and I was like pregnant, and like I'd just been crying for now. You could see my face was so puffy because I just wanted Chinese so badly. Needless to say, we did have Chinese that night, and I had it, and I was like, mm, look. That wasn't that great actually, so really, really weird. I've 
I feel like I just jinxed myself. I did that clip feeling kind of okay. Did I mention? I think I said I had nausea but no sickness. I'm not even sure if I said that now. I've just so thrown up for the first time. Literally, I put that down. And out of nowhere, I wasn't even feeling that bad. I was just like, God, oh, I've got to get to the bathroom ASAP. I don't know where to start this one. I feel like I've got to be positive, which I'm nearly at the nine week mark. So that's great. My nails are growing really fast. That's a real pregnancy perk. Um, <laughs> that's maybe where the positivity ends for now though. Um, yeah, this week I always knew it was gonna be a really difficult week for me because we booked in the scan earlier on, which you guys would have seen in this video, and we pushed it right back to this week where my app saying I'm nine weeks today, but I feel like that's a little bit ahead. So I think I'm like eight weeks, four or five days. And we're actually going to the same place that we went before with our previous pregnancy. And it's the same lady. I really liked the lady and she was really helpful, but it feels a little bit like deja vu and I'm feeling quite sick to the stomach just thinking about going through it all again. Um, so there's that. I will check in later. Um, I guess will I? I don't know. Maybe. Hopefully. Hopefully with positive, positive news. Come on Laura, think positively. Yes. So there's that. And then I was also booked in for my first midwife appointment. And I was a little bit gutted to be honest because it's between 8 to 10 weeks and last time I never got to this point and I was booked in at the 10 week mark and I was really hoping that this time I would be booked in 10 weeks again because then I'll have gone to the scan and I'll be going to that midwife appointment feeling much more confident because if we do hear a really healthy heartbeat today then it is exceedingly positive and I think to a certain extent I will relax slightly slightly so anyway the midwife appointment was um, really lovely it was very chilled it was about 45 minutes mine was they take your weight your height bloods um just to check for things i can't remember now i think she said things like hiv that kind of thing um and then blood pressure what else was there oh urine sample just to check any utis or anything like that because they're quite dangerous in pregnancy so if you do think that you have a uti you've got to get in touch with your doctor to get antibiotics apparently they can cause contractions so yeah and she booked me in it's basically called like a booking appointment you go through all of your um, medical details as well as family but ours is all online so it's an online system i have no paperwork for my like maternity care and I filled out loads of the questionnaires beforehand. It's literally just like a lot of yes and no type things. Yeah, so there was that. This week, <laughs> along with, I don't know whether it's just a coincidence, or maybe it's a little bit in my head, but this week was generally a harder week. I felt a little bit like my, still had nausea, but my sickness that was with the nausea and that was like really making the nausea bad, kind of has petered off. So I felt like I had lost that symptom. And I also had on, I feel like Monday, Tuesday, I can't remember which day now, but I had the worst crampy pains. They started in the afternoon. And when Ollie got home from work, we went for a walk. I was like, oh, maybe some movement will really help. And they were still kind of there. But I have been getting, which is an absolute delight, really, really, really bad gas, particularly at night. So I wake in the middle of the night and my tummy is just so painful. Like I literally hobble to the toilet, like crippled over. Like I can't even stand straight. I'm kind of like crippled over. Um, and then, yeah, it doesn't, <laughs> it takes some time to be able to release that. So I wasn't getting that good a sleep, like tossing and turning. So I was kind of hopeful that it was something to do with that and it's so hard in pregnancy this early pregnancy to kind of like distinguish because it changes your whole like digestive system so it's really hard to distinguish what's what like is this bad cramps or is this um just like normal pregnancy and despite having a miscarriage before i like was churning through my brain like did i feel this before did i get any cramps before it i had bleeding like, i just i couldn't remember i was like this wasn't that long ago why can't i remember so it's been a little bit of a stressful week. I'm still absolutely starving, like a little bit ridiculous. Like after dinner, one of my favorite things is an amazing bakery where we are and they do the most beautiful sourdough bread, like 
the sourdough bread with balsamic vinegar and oil so I'll like eat my dinner and then if I'm still hungry I'll have a few loaves of bread with that and like for example today I woke up had my normal breakfast fruit and I also had yogurt granola um, seeds and everything I'm back to eating a bit of a healthier breakfast whereas I couldn't before I just wanted like stodge and toast like peanut butter on toast but then at 11 20 today passed across my mind <laughs> uh, actually it was before that it was probably about 11 a.m passed across my mind and I was like no bit early you can wait a little bit longer quarter past 11 that was it had to go and cook pasta I literally text Holly like is it is it too early for me to have pasta I just couldn't I was like I need this now so much so that I like spilt it all over me I'm gonna have to go and get dressed again to go to the scan because I couldn't wait to get the pasta sauce open just like, absolutely starving all of the time and I feel like when I get hungry I number one can't think of anything else my attention not there at all and my nausea comes and I just generally feel really like weak considering like I really shouldn't be because I've probably just eaten about half an hour ago so yeah that that I think sums up my symptoms and where I've been this week Oh my gosh, so nervous. I couldn't take any footage there, but. Had a scan. Got a baby. Got a baby, you got a strong heartbeat. We weren't given the heartbeat, but she said, I tell you, because I think I mentioned earlier, it's the same lady that we saw. She said, really strong heartbeat, I tell you if it wasn't. She said, viable pregnancy, and there's this little squidge who has the most mahusive head ever. And little arms, and little armsies, and little legs, and. Had a little wriggle when it was getting scanned. Oh. It is 10 p.m. at night. I am now 10 and a half weeks pregnant. And I feel like we are telling the biggest lie. I kind of feel dreadful. And I feel very sorry for Ollie. Ollie has been painting this whole, come home from work and painted the whole evening. Obviously, because I'm in the first trimester um, and have had a miscarriage don't want to risk anything so anything that could potentially be harmful we've literally got a window open here we've had all the windows open ventilating to be honest it's not been bad because it's in the utility room door so, shut extractors door on sh <laughs> <laughs> it's not too bad now it's late at night but god when i got home until like half five six so hot in there you've been such a champ um <sighs> but yeah i feel very guilty because in the video i did like a <laughs> cameo appearance <laughs> of like a little tiny bit rolling right at the beginning um, and then left and have been sat on the sofa literally with my trousers open can't can't even close these DIY trousers anymore <laughs> how's it been for you it's been real tough ball it's been tiring it hasn't been too bad I've just been binging podcasts I haven't got very many to no, listen I mean to generally now. oh generally. with you <laughs> oh these last these last few weeks um it's been particularly hard because i um have struggled with videos and not knowing i have no energy i felt like rubbish and i don't want to like clothes shopping like nothing like that appeals to me at the moment so like stuff outside the house we did want to do the utility room partly for baby like yeah. just having a more usable utility space would be so much nicer but you're really pushing it at the moment to get that done. Gotta get it done, because we've got to get the windows done so we can actually finish off the Boston bedroom. Which I'm not helping with. And as much as like, <laughs> I don't want to be like, oh, I'm so helpful, <laughs> and without me, you can't cope. But like an extra pair of hands, even if it's just like tidying up or doing the painting, like we graft a lot together. And yeah. I think with 50% of the team gone, I made a I make a lot of a mess when I do jobs. That's part I mean, I'm of still it. tidying up. I tidy still, up. Still tidying up. Like, so. It does make it so much quicker when we're both on. We're both there. We're both on it. I'm not on it at all at the moment. No. And out of our relationship, I'm the one that's like, oh, do we need this ordered for the weekend? Like, what yeah, paint are we paint. using? We're going to need some new rollers. Um, so we're getting to the weekend. So there's no food. <laughs> I'm not too good at this. <laughs> we don't know what we're doing. We're just like stumbling through a little bit at the moment, aren't we? Yeah. 
I'm absolutely exhausted. I'm trying to stay awake because I feel just feel so bad for Ollie. Um, but yeah, just a, just a little bit of reality of behind the scenes because sometimes I wonder how, you know, especially people online are doing their videos in this first trimester and coping. And um, well, we're not behind the scenes very well. No, no. I'm starting to I'm starting to appreciate that if you really need to get things done when. It's not that we, we have a family yet, I think this is going to be more like what it is, more of our time is going to get taken up with something else, whether it's yeah. you not feeling very well or it's eventually having a baby. I'm starting to appreciate it. If, if you want to get stuff done, then it ends up in nights like these where some, some of we were working till half ten just yeah. to get the painting done. At least when we actually have kids, when they're in bed, we can both work. But right now it is literally like, it's dawned on me a little bit recently. Like, and I've, my most emotional, I'm a little bit emotional at the moment. A little. <laughs> but the times that I cry, and I could cry now, is like guilt. Like, I've cried, you don't know the amount of times I've cried to mum as well about guilt. Like, just being like, oh, he's doing so much. <laughs> <laughs> I want the so much. And like, it is, it's, it's difficult. Like, when you're usually quite an active person, and our house is just like, Literally, <laughs> a mess. I mean, we are doing a project at the moment. I was going to say, this is actually pretty tiny. <laughs> yeah, this, this isn't so bad. Um, but yeah, it's, it's a journey, isn't it? But we're so, so thankful to be where we are anyway. But yeah. I thought that I'd include all in this one. Uh, there we go. Good. This is like way past my bedtime. It feels like I haven't checked in in forever, and I think that's just because this end of the first trimester is definitely getting easier. I feel a lot less nauseous and sick though it definitely still hasn't gone and I still am exhausted last night I went to bed at eight o'clock and slept probably about 11 hours and I'm still tired this morning like it's 10 o'clock and I am struggling to get going but I went for the harmony test this week which I actually booked the day before um we basically wanted to try and go on holiday before I found out it was just after I found out I was pregnant we were thinking of booking a holiday and then found out I was pregnant and so we kind of decided that we'd leave it, I didn't want to go away, um, potentially have some bad news um, or have to be dealing with it in a foreign country, so we said we'll just wait until the first trimester is over. Now our one year anniversary is coming up and we thought that's a perfect opportunity to go on holiday and I will be, oh god I'm going to get so emotional, I will be out of the first trimester, which I actually am already. Um, I know I'm not totally out of the clear and we've still got um, our NHS scan but at the beginning of this week I booked in the Harmony test which is also called NIPT and it's basically a more precise version of the NHS screening. Um, the top one is really Down syndrome. You can also find out sex of the baby at the same time which honestly is like so at the back of my mind at the moment. In fact, when we get the results, I'm not even gonna open them. And that is because um, the clinic that I don't know if every place is exactly the same, but the clinic that I went to, you get emailed the results if they're good news and you get called if they're bad news. So if I get a phone call, I know that it's bad. If I get an email come through, I know that I'm not opening up bad news, which I think was one of my worries. Um, and I'm so glad that she said that. So if I get an email with the results, it's good news and we don't have to open it and find out the gender so that email is probably going to sit unopened for honestly maybe maybe even to 20 weeks it wasn't the reason that we got the test done and we went back and forth a lot on whether to get the test done in the end Ollie was quite keen to go for it and I am so glad it, unfortunately he was away at the time um and so I went with my mum but that was super precious anyway and no one looks like a baby like an actual baby we got a few scan photos i can't believe like a message jolly and he was like it has a nose um and if you've had miscarriage and you fear scans i said to my mum as soon as we sat down in the waiting room i started to tear up she was like it's gonna be fine it's gonna be fine and we went into the room and the lady said would you like the screen off so the big screen that you can see to the side um i always have turned off at the beginning so that they can have a little look i just for me personally, I don't want to be looking at something and thinking, is there a heartbeat, like, guessing. I'd rather just lie there, take a deep breath and hope that everything is okay. But she um, was looking 
and straight away she was like baby's really moving around I know that that's definitely a heartbeat there and it was just so positive so quickly she put the screen straight on and yeah bald straight away um yeah little baby we even got a little video which is just so precious um can't believe they're literally moving around in their little arms and legs she was like at one point it looked like baby was going like no 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 bringing its hand up um kicking its feet just absolutely crazy how much it's changed from so i'm just hiding all of my personal details at the top there so that was nine weeks how much has changed i wasn't quite expecting to see on screen how much it's changed from that nine weeks to 11 weeks so i thought i'd be like 11 weeks maybe one or two days but it turns out at that scan i was 11 weeks i was measuring 11 weeks five days so basically the 12 week mark so now i should be over that 12 week so super super exciting on monday um i'll kind of check in again when we have the nhs one because i think they measure a lot more obviously very nervous for that but i can't believe that we're here like i can't can't get over the fact that i'm out of the first trimester and also what's really strange is that the first time that we got pregnant we immediately were like excited we we held nothing back we we're like thinking about baby names oh what are we gonna do with the nursery like what tests are we gonna make and how are we gonna tell friends and family we've got to the three month mark this time without thinking about anything anything and it feels really strange because if this pregnancy which hopefully it seems like it is is going ahead it's like gosh i feel like i could be like halfway through the pregnancy without really feeling like I'm pregnant. I know that sounds so strange because I definitely feel pregnant, but acknowledging fully that I'm pregnant and that this is actually gonna happen. I think we're having a baby. I think we're having one. I think that's it now. I think I'm starting to believe that this is happening and it's happening at a much more rapid pace <laughs> than I was expecting. Positive, but also a little bit scary. Every scan that I've been to, um, the baby is dating quite a bit further ahead. Keeps so being sort of like, oh, you're how many weeks? Now it's like plus four days. And then the next time it's like revised again, another five days forward. Yeah, so just last week when I went for the harmony test, last Monday, literally, I was 11 weeks, five days. Today, a week on, I'm 13 weeks, two days. So... We're gaining pace. Growing a lot. And it's <laughs> making me a little bit terrified that we are having a humongous baby. Um, I'm sure it can't work like that. They don't give scans, which makes me slightly upset, but um, this he is let us picture. take a little screenshot. I don't think it's the best photo because baby's limbs are literally like... Come on out, it's <laughs> tummy. <laughs> it looks like Lillian's. <laughs> doing that. But on the scan, the leg was... like the when he pushed so down the leg, it's so big. And yeah. its feet were huge. Yeah, it's got my feet. It's got all these feet, really big feet, really big long legs. And we think it was sucking its thumb, or like had its yeah, hand had towards its, its hand, mouth like most of the time. So cute. Oh, and I did an update. Our harmony test came back, came back low risk. Yeah, all lovely results. Low risk, so really, really positive. We're ending this trimester, the first trimester, feeling Pretty really good, good. Really good. Um, we don't yet know the sex, so we didn't open the harmony test email. I didn't explain this. You don't get the email if there's something wrong. They'll phone you and obviously verbally explain it rather than just leaving you to read it and not really understand what's going on. Yeah, opening a kind of sad email, which makes total sense and was what I was really worried about. Um, but we got an email. Um, I, you know when you can see like a little bit of text as well? Um, it said, low risk. Um, I didn't, we didn't open it and then we have sent it yeah, we got someone. It. Yeah, we got someone to um, forward it to. Are we telling them? Oh yeah, we're telling them this is in the future. We got. We're going on holiday, and there's a cake place. So we've sent it to them, and they very kindly are going to open it and read what the gender is, and then do a little cake. cake. So we'll have like an intimate, hopefully, cake reveal picnic on our one year anniversary on our holiday, which I think will be really lovely. Just but that us. is that is our fur baby <laughs> telling us, come on, he needs a bit of attention before our actual baby gets here. But anyway, um, see you in the next one. Bye. <laughs>